Okay, uh, this is a big one, and uh, I don't really know where to start. Um, all the biology is, the science of biology is fake. They suppressed a very important uh, component in uh, what uh, the scientific uh, the scientists observed in uh, the 19th uh, century. Uh, one uh, great scientist, he, he is the one who observed this and did uh, the, the greatest uh, job on it. Uh, his name is Antoine Béchamp from uh, France. So uh, this guy observed uh, smaller um, elements in the human body, smaller than the cells. And uh, this small element uh, make virtually everything in our body he named this uh, element microzimas or uh, microzima in uh, french so this uh, small uh, components small beings moves very fast uh, and they make everything in the body they make the bacteria the bacteria that we have are made by uh, those microzimas and uh, they dismantle this bacteria one, once the cycle of the bacteria is not needed anymore so all of your bacteria in your body are made by the microzimas of yours so those bacteria are your own bacteria and uh, the whole logic of the stuff is uh, twisted uh, how the human body works and how and what is a disease exactly all this is distorted so they pushed uh, on us the little childish uh, kindergarten logic of uh, of uh, of diseases how they spread and everything because it was very easy for uh, small brains to understand it and they totally uh, suppressed the microzimas existence so it is crazy that something that you can observe with the microscope has been um, kicked out of reality so uh, Antoine Béchamp did a lot of work about this uh, microzimas then uh, other scientific around observed it a lot of lot of a big number the last one was uh, I mean one of the the last ones with modern technology he made a specific microscope to observe the microzimas so the light has to be had to be in a certain frequency and uh, of course the angle and, uh, and uh, the way you you deal with the blood because uh, the blood usually they kill it with chemicals to observe it but the idea of uh, observing the microzimas is to keep uh, the blood in its original state and being able to observe everything moving everything alive and have the right frequency to observe this microzimas uh, this uh, modern guy made the specific microscope which apparently has been destroyed by the by the mafia the scientific mafia uh, I'm gonna put the, the links of course so you can see this microzimas moving uh, he named them uh, somatites this uh, same mi microzimas of Antoine Béchamp the guy who made the, the microso microscope uh, may, uh, named them uh, somatites but they are exactly the same the same elements in uh, the mainstream uh, science they they cannot uh, they cannot observe living blood so they just keep this uh, stupid microscopes uh, but uh, the people who study the minerals and the uh, old shells and everything they have uh, electronic microscopes so they see this uh, microzimas uh, there and uh, they can even back uh, get back to activity after uh, millions of years being uh, dormant not uh, not working and they make virtually everything alive uh, is based on uh, microzima everything plants uh, everything they make everything so in the mainstream uh, media they call them uh, nanobacteria or nanops but uh, it's very they are very uh, working on this but in uh, in the shell minerals and stuffs like uh, old observing old fossilized stuffs okay 
the microzymas they uh, they make bacteria they make elements in our body they can fuse elements together so they do nuclear work if you need some uh, some um, some calcium for example they can make it make it from other atoms you know it's crazy but we have this uh, this uh, capability in our body to transmit elements and everything this is why people some people stop eating and stuff because inside of them this uh, microzymas just makes uh, elements from other elements you know uh, from hydrogen from I don't know uh, so this is what they can do uh, some uh, recent scientific observed that these small uh, beings uh, have a silicon crystal inside in the core of them there is a silicon crystal uh, that make the this microzymas the link between uh, the biology and the uh, and the mineral world uh, the life in minerals and uh, the information that can be stored st stored in uh, in uh, crystals in this case it is apparently a silicon crystal okay keep this uh, information in your head once uh, once you will start to link together informations uh, these microzymas are specific specific to each uh, being so your microzymas are yours your somatites are yours and uh, they, they do exactly the, the job that you need you know so uh, they tried also to burn them they cannot kill them with fire uh, they tried to kill them with the uh, acids apparently they can survive this crap they, they are nearly indestructible and immortal so make this uh, this this in your head and we have so microzymas and somatites and above them there is the cellular level you know with dna and stuff so this is a deeper level to of life connected with the information with the with the crystal with fusing elements together uh, virtually they do everything this uh, somatites and apparently even the breathing process of the cell the energy generated it's uh, it's done in the somatites and they can go inside the cells outside of the cells they make the cell uh, multiplying the hormones needed and they make crazy stuffs uh, microzymas or somatites so they are very um, they change all the all the view we have our of our bodies of uh, this reality and of course uh, suppressing this information had a great role into this uh, fear fear of everything fear of bacteria we should not be afraid of bacteria we can make only our bacteria and if uh, if a disease a disease is uh, somehow uh, when you are not organized you are lacking of self organization in your in your field the the disease is uh, is uh, this this uh, lacking of organization so another vibration can uh, can vibrate in you you know you can enter in resonance with the other information so uh, this is what we call disease and the microzymas will make uh, the bacteria that uh, actually are there to keep the situation uh, alive you know that uh, uh, they are here to 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 repair uh, the moment it's needed to survive this uh, this uh, lack of uh, of uh, organization of yours mostly it's because of your uh, of uh, of your uh, consciousness you know emotional disorder and uh, uh, maybe also this um, electromagnetic pollution is doing a big role into this not having also the the right foods the right uh, supply of everything and everything we can uh, we can uh, have uh, this uh, not organized uh, biology which can enter in resonance with another uh, frequency of disease or something and also we can just enter in resonance with other biology like, just like somebody's yawning and you yawn also like uh, transmitting this information this is the disease so you can enter in resonance with the flu people for example if the general music is louder than your own vibration you will resonate with this and maybe you will get the flu you know so the the whole the whole power of uh, one being is uh, his vibration his frequency his music his own music you know his own uh, uh, frequency should be uh, powerful and loud and he decide I'm not gonna resonate with this you know and uh, we can grow this power of us especially I think by using our brain 
in a different way, not uh, always in a conceptual way, but uh, find the, the really the frequency that uh, that uh, that uh, connect with the biology and uh, and make it uh, do what we want exactly. So it's not about conceptual thinking. I want to be this. I want to be strong and everything. No, it's about finding actually the the real uh, language of our brain. You know, which we lost. Uh, when we think about the color green, you know, the color green is not the, the world, it's not the thought about it, it's really a frequency, you know, and um, this we have to find back this uh, direct way of uh, connecting reality, of connecting with our bodies, uh, not, through, uh, not through concept, but actually through reality, through the, to, through the exact time, the Im immediacy, the direct, the direct connection. So it's a whole field of uh, exploration. So this is the and the stuff that uh, they suppressed. Microzemas and somatites. Uh, the links will be under the video, so you can see them in action. Not a lot of um, stuffs in English about this. Mostly it's in French because the it's uh, a lot of French. Uh, doctors and scientific uh, have been on this uh, Fr uh, France was a really uh, a science uh, crazy uh, high level people in uh, in uh, in the 19 uh, in the 19th century but uh, they promoted the the crooks of them you know the the people who falsify who fake st studies and the real ones like uh, Antoine Béchon uh, has been uh, totally uh, pushed away you know the guy was such a, a meticulous uh, totally scientific you know he will repeat uh, an experience 50 times with the same condition then 50 times with different condition till he he got exactly uh, the amount of uh, data he wanted which was uh, work two years you know this this was a uh, real scientific people you know so this has changed everything about uh, life and death immortality because this microzimas also like I said, they are virtually indestructible and uh, immortal and crystal of silicon inside of them. So really this information is uh, something uh, that should uh, free us on a, on a consciousness level. I always said that, that false science uh, just makes you have a, a smaller consciousness. So it closes you into some, some stuff. It uh, shapes your vibration your uh, relationship to, to your body, to the, to, 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 to the physical world, and also make some fears in you, you know. These diseases are not bacteria jumping from one another or viruses, you know. The viruses are just an after effect, you know, when there is a, when the a cell is dismantled by the microzemas or something or by something else, we can see some, some effect, uh, some uh, traces, uh, you know, which we, they call virus, viruses. And in the main science, it's for them the virus that transmits the, 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 the disease. No, no, no. The disease is the informational fields, and and uh, you resonate, and then uh, you will make some uh, maybe some uh, some uh, viruses appears, you know, which are the af after effect of uh, some uh, some c cells getting uh, dying or something, you know. So this is the the real uh, the real science. Also, when you go to the doctor and. Uh, and he can uh, do some uh, he tell you for example if you have something he tell you you have this disease he will name the disease and that moment uh, if you accept it with your brain your your big uh, crystal uh, liquid crystal brain which connect to the uh, informational field and everything if you accept the disease you immediately enter in resonance with all the people that have this disease so you enter in resonance with the informational field, the morphic field of this disease, which is kept alive by the numbers. And uh, when you accept this, um, this uh, judging of him, you immediately enter in resonance with the disease. Okay, I am close to 15 minutes. Uh, uh, thank you a lot. I may do more videos about uh, this subject. Uh, have a good uh, day. Thank you.